True Seekers, it is Thursday, July 15th, 7.42 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. Buy the dip, but be careful about buying the dip. Today's dip, well, is tomorrow's lower high, okay? So be very, very careful. I know that it is very tempting as we get these market swings, which we have this morning, to buy the dip. And I even did hedge a little bit in. But have a plan. Have a plan for if we keep getting lower and lower dips. Have a plan for if we range lower. Have a plan for if we go back to 3,000. Have a plan for sideways. Have a plan for breaking that 41, 42K barrier. And Lambo, I mean, $200,000 Bitcoin this year. Have a plan to make money no matter what. Protect your assets. I see too much of this and this is something that a lot of YouTubers and a, a, a lot of bad advice out there, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Stop doing that unless you have a plan and buying dips all the way down to zero is your plan. You know, maybe you should be hedged out and shorting. What I'm saying is not financial advice and entertainment purposes only, but I watch a lot of crypto YouTubes, so a lot of trading YouTubes. I watch I read a crap ton of, of news every day, crypto news and market news. Um, and I could almost make my tagline like Bitcoin Daily View so you don't have to. And that's the whole idea. You watch these YouTube channels, you listen to them so that someone else's research, their hours spent that morning becomes your 10 or 15 minutes, you know? So with that said, I invest a lot every day and throughout the day in crypto news, what's going on in the market, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and one thing that I see that's that I think wrecks wrecks so many people is buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Do you know if it is the dip tomorrow? It could be a higher low. I mean, just be careful. I'm saying have a plan. One thing I'm seeing is we are in the moment. We are at a moment right now where much wealth can be made, but also much wealth can be lost. And what will ensure that you break even or most likely make money, maybe even a lot of money, is if you have some kind of a plan. What are you going to do? And just indefinitely buying the dip is not a plan, all right? Anyway, enough whining. But seriously, I'm watching people get their asses handed to them because of this bad advice too many YouTubers give of indefinitely buying the dip. It's a dumbass move unless it's part of an overall strategy, okay? With that said, this guy here, Bitcoin BTC to, BTC to 28K, interesting chart. You can just look at it. You can see it right now. I love his username, Balls of Steel 32. I myself would be Balls of Steel 64 bit, or maybe even 128 bit, you know. But anyway, um, maybe I'd be Balls of Steel T1000. That'd be kind of cool if you watched the Terminator 2 movie. Anyway, with that said, um, my fellow Balls of Steel traders, whatever your bit, you know, bit bit value is. And actually, as a matter of fact, uh, in today's video. Everybody, if you would so desire, comment what is your balls of steel bit value. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I'm balls of steel 4 gigahertz. Anyway, so if you watch this, if you look at this chart, it tells a story right here. Just a thought, all right? Are you going to buy the dip all the way to, you know, 28k or lower? I'm just saying, make sure if you are dip buying that it's a strategy. There's more to it. There's more to your strategy than just indefinitely buying the dip, okay? With that said, looking at London, major flooding, it's terrible. I mean, they're really screwed. Looking at Germany, uh, it's a disaster. Western Germany, I mean, people are dying. Look at this that picture. That is a community. It's insane. China, massive flooding. Turkey is not doing so well. Um, we are seeing insane flooding around the nation. Uh, if we didn't handle our monsoons and flash floods so well here in Phoenix and in uh, Scottsdale area, We'd be underwater right now too, but since all we have is like blast furnace heat, then insane monsoons, well, that's weather here. We can handle the torrential flash floods we get. And believe me, our little floodplains that we have are actually full and running some serious water. They're huge, they're massive. I'll have to post some before and after pics because when it's dry, you cannot believe the raging river that it becomes when it when it rains here. So we manage flash floods because we're cowboys and we're psycho, you know. Anyway, so BlackRock bought 12% of MicroStrategy this week. Could it be said that MicroStrategy is actually the ETF that we can't seem to muster in this country? Interesting thought, huh? With that said, Tim Pool, he's a little lefty. He's kind of a uh, a closet globalist. He's not one of my favorite dudes, to be honest with you. Um, way too soy milked out, kind of a candy ass. But with that said, he does have amazing content. 
He's a, a great little millennial, and he is creating a very good show. I mean, what Vice's vision originally was, he actually has maintained. And uh, uh, anyway, with that said, he said something very, very powerful. And to me, it's too watered down, but it's good for getting the, the, the point across. Talking about, originally, not too long ago, it was, hey, we're going to have people go door-to-door -door to talk about, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the cult, the, the, the V cult, you know. Uh, everyone, they're going to come and ask you if you've heard about the Lord God and Savior, the uh, the the Jabberdo, you know. And then almost instantly, once that was accepted by society, then they went, oh, and by the way, we'll bring a Jabberdo person along with that, so you can get it right there on the spot while we're pressuring you. And anyway, it's messed up. So Tim Pool, a little lefty, even he puts it this way. A stranger walks up to your door. Hello, sir. Can I inject you with this substance? Trust me, it's okay. No need to talk to your doctor about counterindications, allergies, or medical history. Uh, we can just inject you with a substance right here. Trust us. No big deal. We're pressuring you. You should get it or you're a bad person. Do you believe in truth or the consensus reality? Or, you know, let's face it. You're a loser. You don't really have a spine or a soul. Just take this damn jabberdo right now because... If you don't, we're going to mark our little chart right here and you're going to the, and then like the, the next wave that comes in armor personnel carriers, we're going to have your name and number. Anyway, with that said, shit's getting crazy. Anyway, uh, but there's some hope. The French, you know, I know they can kind of be wimpy, but still French citizens riot in response to plan uh, for mandatory vaccine passports and also mandatory vaccines. It's getting too heavy there. They're pushing too hard. And the French are like putting down their friggin' brie and French bread and cracked black pepper, their little shih tzus, and they're like, you know, going like, we must fight now, but first I must have a cigarette. And so they're going and they're in the streets. They're pissed off because, man, they've been getting their asses handed to, uh, to them, unlike we have here. But guess what? It's coming! And even little lefty pinkos like Tim Pool can see it. I mean, believe me, he'd much rather be giving friggin' Bernie Sanders a rim job than doing that tweet, okay? So with that said, boom, it's getting real. Um, and that kind of explains this, the Schumann Resonance today. If you don't follow the Schumann Resonance, do so. I allegedly state there's a possibility that it does represent human emotion on this planet, okay? And so recently, if you watch this, I'll link to it over there at Bitcoin Daily View. If you watch the Schumann Resonance, you can see recently it's been off the charts, nonstop, bursty, crazy, looking like it usually does not. And of course, we're seeing insane world events right now. We're seeing insane door-to-door -door friggin' terrorism in this country. Um, so with that said, boom, no wonder the, uh, it's a, the German word for it called world pain. It's like virtue, whatever it is anyway. And it's something that we all feel. So I think we're feeling the collective world pain right now. And that's creating not only volatility in the Schumann resonance, but as we get down to business, it's causing volatility in the crypto market too. World's crazy, you may have noticed. Look at the charts this morning. The globalists, ancient evil banker characters are out in force and they're messing with Bitcoin this morning, but check this out. Uh, spot volume on Binance down 5%, last 24 hours coming in at 14 billion. That ain't much. Uh, futures volume, it's coming in at 5% 5, 5 down, last 24 hours, 48 billion, that's not much. So we're not seeing much action on Binance, the biggest exchange. And look at overall Bitcoin trading volume, which would be, this is where we would see retail trading volume, not even 3 billion, and it was like 3 billion yesterday, and it's only 1.5 billion on Binance. Look, here's the deal. This is insane. In general, I have found it takes at least about 3 billion in a volume to move uh, Bitcoin just to, just just to keep it up just to, just to keep the nodes running and have just, just transactions like market making and such which is going to happen so we have like what's going on why do we have no retail volume I mean we have hardly any this is nuts right so um, for what it for what it's worth I think it's just weird okay uh, it seems like maybe there's a lot of FUD that's out there right now and uncertainty retail buyers are just holding their hand uh, or I should say holding their cards close to their hand holding their fiat whatever they're either wrecked and in the red or they're just holding some you know some fiat ready to make some you know buy the lows whatever or waiting for a confirmed uptrend maybe they hedged out I don't know but it seems like retail buyers really are in the sidelines but uh, looking at diff like uh, cr uh, crypto quant and some of the stuff by uh, uh, Willy Woo and other things I should have linked to. Ha I should have had some up here, but I, I don't. Sorry about that this morning. But I showed them to you in the past. In general, big institutions are buying the living crap out of Bitcoin, and in a way, 
they're even doing it in ways like uh, like this. Where'd that go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, do, 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 where'd it go? Yeah, BlackRock bought twelve percent of MicroStrategy this week. Is that kind of an ETF in a way? You know, for big money. Anyway. I will keep moving. Let's not belabor any one individual little point, but there's no volume and Bitcoin's doing crazy moves this morning. So Binance, longs versus shorts for Bitcoin, 72% long, 27% short. For Ethereum, 67% long, 32% short. So in general, the sentiment where all that crazy, where all that slight little bit of volume is, uh, is uh, very, very long right now. If there's any retail traders even showing up for work today. All right. Longs versus shorts this is a four-hour chart. As we can see recently, shorts have been stepping up. And isn't it interesting how they step up like this? It's almost like they go, okay, let's see what this one does. Uh, a little more. Okay, what's that going to do? Okay, a little more. Uh, keep pushing it. we got to get that price down. You know, Where are they aiming with this? Anyway, shorts ramping up on the four-hour chart. Be watchful. All right, with that said, longs versus shorts here. Uh, it doesn't. It's not too descriptive in this. I'll, I'll just skip it. Anyway. Uh, daily chart. We are below the um, we're below the 314 moving average. 200 up top. 314 on the bottom here. Um, we're below the we're below the 314 moving average. That really really sucks ass. Basically, um, RSI continues to trend down. And of course, we have had a negative MACD cross this morning. That sucks. That usually does cause a bit of a plummet or a pump when it crosses negative or positive. We have crossed negative. It's a pretty strong negative cross. That's not too cool. We are recovering, but that will create a lot of downwards pressure on Bitcoin. I often wonder if that daily negative cross um, getting so close may have been why we're seeing retail traders on the sidelines. I know some people will say that as piffle, but I don't care. It's possible. People do watch it. We're looking at many, many different kinds of indicators ultimately. And I do just wonder, I think the uncertainty in the market and the pressure towards the downside that many, many people do feel and just came through today with the negative MACD cross is why retail traders are probably on the sidelines and we're not seeing that volume or something just isn't right. If you can tell me why there is no volume, let me know along with your balls of steel bit value. Okay. With that said, 45 minute chart, as you can see, we kind of have a very, very loosely fitting Bart Simpson pattern here, you know, we pumped, yay, then we dumped, boo, okay, but ultimately kind of a Bart Simpson pattern. Now we're picking up again, um, squeeze indicator showing a, a bit of a, uh, we're starting to lose that downwards pressure, uh, the directional index here, sorry about that, the directional index here is beginning to trend towards the positive, the ADX is cranking, but that doesn't exactly really matter. It, it doesn't care if you're pumping or dumping. Whenever, whenever there's velocity, the ADX will go up. So anyway, uh, KRI, how are you looking here? Mm, been going down a good deal. Uh, Lazy Bear indicator, late Lazy Bear oscillator is just now showing. It's about over oversold, getting in the, into the buy territory. Stochastic RSI is rocketing to the top now, right in that beautiful buy zone. So it looks like we might be out of this uh, dump this morning. And it would make sense because... As they are messing with us, everybody gets in. It's pumping. I'm so happy. This is just so wonderful. And then, boom. anyway, there. That's what happens. Perfect Bart Simpson globalist pattern. Anyway, we hit a wick towards the 200 moving average on the 45-minute uh, uh, chart here. And as often recently, the 200 moving average showed Bitcoin that its pimp arm is strong. So, with that said, uh, the 45-minute chart here for Ethereum versus USDT. Basically exact same pattern. I would say the indicators look a little bit better for a recovery here for Ethereum versus USDT. ADA versus USDT pretty much did the same thing. XRP versus USDT pretty much did the same thing. Uh, Doge versus USDT, Flacid pretty much doing the same thing just with not very much oomph. Uh, SHIB versus USDT, same thing. Nice looking chart as it perks up. Also with that said, AUDIO, BTC. Uh, this is an interesting one here, one that Crypto Love pointed out recently as very undervalued on token metrics. It did make a dump today, but it stayed above the uh, .5 fib line. Um, not bad, chart looking okay. As always, never financial advice, just entertainment purposes only. And really, everybody, I know I might sound like a whining pain in the ass, but I'm very, very sincere when I say I like buying the dip too. Just be careful. Buying the dip in itself is not a winning strategy, or it might not be. So, what is your plan? And you know what? That's a good one to comment too. So, your balls of steel bit value, why there's no retail trading volume that I, volume that I can find, and also, 
what is your strategy right now um, for when Bitcoin is going up, uh, when it's sideways or dumping like it is now? Are you going to buy the dip indefinitely? What if, hey, the globalists actually are able to call Bitcoin terrorism and we're all jacked right here in the US? So anyway, everybody truly have a plan. And a plan is not just about cryptocurrency. It's about your loved ones, your dog or cat, your chickens, um, your little ranch that you're working on getting. Really have a big picture for crypto, how you're going to win. And also in the traditional markets and also in life, body, mind, and spirit. Really, this matters. Um, it's a shitty time right now in the crypto market um, unless you are making some money. And if you're shrewd and you know what you're doing, you are, of course. You make money whether it goes up or down or sideways. And I hope you have a plan to do that. And I hope you're making money. And remember, one of the most important things, really the most important thing about crypto, about Bitcoin, is it is the peaceful revolution. And for every Bitcoin Satoshi you own, a piece of shit banker cries.